The Archbishop of Lipa calls a Marian apparition in the Philippines worthy of belief. During feast day celebrations for Our Lady, Mediatrix of All Grace, last weekend, Bishop Raymond Arguelles releases an official statement of approval. The Archbishop says the events and apparition of 1948, also known as the Marian phenomenon in Lipa and its aftermath, even in recent times, do exhibit supernatural character and is worthy of belief. Marian expert Michael O'Neill, creator of MiracleHunter.com, Skyping with us from Chicago. Michael, this is the first time in history that an archbishop has overturned a Vatican judgment from negative to positive. Pretty bold move. What's behind that? Well, I think really it boils down to the great Marian devotion of this particular archbishop and the people of the Philippines. Uh, this would go in the category of the census fidelium, the sense of the people there have honored Our Lady under that title, and our bishop is, and the bishop is showing that with this approval. How interesting. Summarize the apparition at Le Pas for us. So the apparition happened in the year 1948 to a Carmelite novice named Teresita Castillo, and they, she's known as Tira Singh, uh, affectionately by the people there. And basically what happened is she received apparitions of Our Lady and they were a call to pair a prayer to penance and to uh, to honoring Our Lady. So I, this was this was really uh, similar to Fatima in some ways. Now you have investigated the site in the Philippines. Describe your findings. Well, I was able to go there in June 2015, uh, just a few months ago, and that was just on the heels of the Archbishop giving a homily there, where he actually declared these apparitions to be supernatural. In that homily, of course, it required a more serious formal statement for it to be official. Uh, but when I went to the site there at Lipa, uh, it was very quiet. There weren't many people there, but they have a church with a image of Our Lady. They have an apparition site if you go upstairs, and they have a small gift shop. And all this, this church is uh, connected to a convent, a Carmelite convent there. So very quiet from what I'm seeing. But if you look at the videos that are now posted online, this place is buzzing with people. There's a great amount of excitement for this apparition at Lipa. Well, we appreciate the insight from Michael O'Neill, the co-founder, or I should say founder and creator of MiracleHunter.com, joining us from Chicago. Michael, thank you. Thank you very much.